gonna realize that I'm being stupid because I'm doing the whole virtualization thing, but then keeping that that QB in there. And it's just the the way this should work is if you're virtualizing a vertex, you shouldn't keep it. I mean, that's the point. You're saving a qubit. Um, it's just I think I think uh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm tending to think too less by myself and just relying too much on the stuff that I see here and and it this just keeps I guess the whole confusion comes from that uh, from that graphical representation here but it's just my uh, I'd say my own fault so where was I I was playing with the K14 and basically um, uh, I think I was getting confused because it didn't seem to work out the way that I expected it to work out. Um, bum, 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 bum. Get fidelities. That's not. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on. Um, experiments on cute. It's just this whole section here seems to be confusing um, to me, but it's uh, okay. So, if the given graph is K14, I'll look at the five physical qubits, four data, and one ancillary. Exactly, it's four data because you're you're virtualizing. Okay, and one virtual qubit. Figure 13. But do you need that? I don't think you need that virtual qubit. That's the point. So I think that's what, what I'm getting wrong in here all the time is that I don't need that Q0, right? Or put another way. So it's got four edges. But we are going to just have uh, four, four qubits. Should I run everything again? I think I have to run everything again. And I should draw the thing. Is it? Is it drawing the thing? No? Yes? Maybe? Oh, um, I should add another rotation to zero. So, and that should draw it exactly. So, so now I've got the rotations, and those are these rotations. Those are these RZ things here. So this is the Oracle. Cool. Um, uh, now, again, I guess this we're going to do the same. So it's going to be four, and I'm just going to get rid of these. And then it's going to be. Uh, so Q0, right? So basically what I got now is this. And so when I do that, MPL, output equals MPL. So, so that's the whole thing. So again, remember what we're trying to do here is, uh, so we're trying to, I'm trying to get all the pieces ready so we can put them together. Yeah. So the 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 starting point is the superposition. That qubit here is not going to be is not going to be needed. Um, that's what was a bit confusing. And now I've got here these, and now I can. I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's just it, this is just confusing me. I'll clean up later. Okay, I'll clean, I'll clean up later. Clean up later. I should execute this kind of things anyway. Uh, so we've got all this stuff in here, and and then okay, so then I build the RTOF. Um, then I build the RTOF, which is I think that stays the same. Yeah, that's 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 it. So that should work. And remember, I still have I'm I'm building that just for a simulator. Um, uh, so I don't know how I'm, how am I going to make sure that I. You know what? What will be the flow of developing that against an actual, against an actual, uh, actual hardware? So I probably have to then tweak that, take the model. We'll see. First, my first goal is to get it get it ready for running it on the Chasm on the Chasm simulator. 
uh, or the state uh, custom simulator. Yeah. So this is this is all all fine and good. So we've got the art off. Then we turn the art off into an instruction, and then we basically uh, what are we doing here? So we are doing uh, uh, um, the amplitude amplification exactly. The amplitude and here's where okay. So here's where I have to be careful. So because now I think I just need one ancillary qubit. So I think this should go down to six. And so here we've got the Hanamards that go basically just up to three. So zero to three, so four qubits. Then I'm adding a barrier for uh, clarity. Then we start with the uh, top of the gate. So we're gonna do zero, one, and, f and four. Because Q4 is going to be our our work qubit, our ancillary ancillary, ancillary qubit. Um, then we basically do four to four to three, and we are kind of done. I think this has to basically. Something's not right in here. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I was doing that because I the last had to be a because the the what we're doing is a is a is a, a multi control Z. Um, but I think I can put that. Basically, up here, clarity. This goes away, and this is like that. So, then a barrier. Then, I were discussing here like, should I uncompute? I don't know. Um, and then we've got again the layer of X. And the layer of Hotomarts. Let's see how this looks like. Exactly. So essentially, what we're building here essentially is, and I'll, I'll try to show it in in Quirk then now, if I can do that. So we're what we're trying to essentially do here is, so I've got this Quirk space here prepared with with the RTOFs as well prepared in here. Um, and so what we're doing here is we're doing Hadamards, a bunch of Hadamards. So we're say four Hadamards, then four X gates in here. And now, and now what we're doing is we're doing a control. So we have a work qubit. Okay. So control, control. So we're doing these. Mm. But we're doing it with our toffs, okay? So, and then we're doing these, 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 because that's the target. But but this should be, I think, surrounded by Hadamards because the idea is that it should be a Z. So, but I could also replace those those not gates by Z gates. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to implement that. I mean, I, I it wouldn't be able to implement that directly. So, I mean, I could implement that at Qiskit because I think Qiskit gives you the tool set to just pick a whatever unitary and then turn it into a control one. So that, that could be done, but I don't know how that would work in an actual in the actual hardware, whether it's doable or not. Um, so there's a lot of experimentation here that that can be done just just for the sake of learning. And I, I'll I should definitely I should definitely do that. I think. Um, even after I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable that I've done the, the stuff that I wanted to do with the paper, because uh, that gets me closer to playing with NISC uh, stuff. Okay, so this is this is the amplitude amplification with an ancillary qubit. So let me let me make that a gate, and say I'll call that a a a uh, 
I call it AA1, or whatever. Like it's it's with it's with one work qubit at the end. Um, good. So now we've got all these pieces in here. So in theory, if I say clear circuit, I could in theory. So I would still need to build the oracle. Mm. I still would need to build the oracle here. So uh, if I basically uh, do, 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 go ahead and, and, and build that thing in here, it's pi fourth. Okay, so so this is going to be the oracle. So the oracle is going to be just parametrized rotations. So this and just one over four. And so I'm basically going to do it this way. So that will be the oracle. Right, so I make a gate. That's the uh, the oracle um, clear circuit. So in theory, if I start in superposition, if I start in superposition, and I re I'm, I'm getting rid of one vertex in here, right? Because I don't care. I could just have it up there, uh, but it should matter. And then I apply the oracle. Let me make that a little bigger. And I'll apply the oracle. Uh, so now if I take a look at the amplitudes, basically uh, that is accumulating 45 degrees per cat. And what we're doing here is we're fixing the color of because it's a star graph, we're fixing the color of the graph that has IS connectivity, which has connectivity to all the other vertex uh, nodes, let's say with a zero, right? That's why we virtualize it. And and so then this is effectively just counting the amount, it's just effectively counting the amount of ones because this would be the cats, right? So in, in this case, you've got three ones, so you've got 135 degrees. Because um, the three cats, exactly. And so we know the solution of the problem is the it should be this one, right? Because it just cuts across all vertices. And pay attention that in this case it works really neatly because the phase accumulates to exactly 180 degrees, which is usually what you would what you would like to have in an ideal Grover case. You just want to have all the other phases pointing to zero and the ones that you're looking for pointing at like a 180 degrees rotation, because those are the ones that are going to be then amplified. Okay, but that, then this now makes more sense. And if I now apply this amplitude amplification, which by the way, you can see here, you see if I hover that, I can actually see a snapshot of the circuit this um, is, is that, and then what I don't like from, from this representation is that when you turn that thing into, into uh, into subroutines, you get those ugly boxes. I mean, it just doesn't help me see the circuit. That's definitely the point to improve, uh, I'd say. But now I would, then I should be able to use these amplitude amplification um, and then combine it again with the oracle and amplitude amplification. Okay, now remember that we are adding this extra qubit in here, which is a work qubit. But we're only interested in, because I was getting confused, we're only interested in these. But because they're entangled, it's gonna be messy. So just, if you take a look at the amplitudes, we're only interested, we're not interested in the bottom half of these. We're interested just in, in this part. And you can see that, that the, uh, or I can just take a look at the chance display for these. And you can see that the highest probabilities are the no cat solution and the all cat solution, and that was sort of a, a drawback of uh, of the sub subdivided phase concept for the oracle. So that that starts to make sense. That starts to make, start to make sense, and I think if I do it a bit more, now we've got twenty two percent. That's beautiful. And now we're already back to 17. So I think that was definitely, that's definitely the, the, the limited amount of iterations. So, but it, it really highlights the, the, the right solution, right? It amplifies that. So good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bookmark this. <laughs> so I'm gonna call it a uh, NISC Grover Sim. Okay, 
for the simulation. So now let's try to do the same with uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, quirk, not quirk, with this guy here. So we, we got this working. Um, half do we? And I really, if you can, if you, if you see, I really haven't. Wait a second. Why am I getting six qubits? Because I asked for it. <laughs> okay. So, and we haven't really uncomputed. So, I I don't know. We haven't really uncomputed. The paper seems to re recommend that you uncompute, but it seems to work on the simulator. We'll see. Uh, maybe it's just, as I said, standard practice to release the um, the ancilla qubits, uh, ancilla qubit here. But now we can just put it all together, right? I mean, we've got, okay, so we sh should still turn that into an instruction. So, uh, AA inst, I'm, I'm awful at naming, I'm so sorry. So, AA two instruction. So now we got that whole thing as an instruction. And now, and we are using art of gates in here. And now let's just put everything together. Let's see if that works. So what would have we got? So we've got a, so uh, let's call it a final test. <laughs> this is so awful. Quantum circuit. And I'm going to need five qubits for these. Um, and five classical qubits because we're going to do the actual measurements. Final test. Final test, it's basically a combination of um, it's a layer of So it's you initialize you initialize it this way, okay? So you you basically it's so it's a hard first you do a one two three so so now I I uh, final test draw uh, sorry final test draw exactly. Um, and now I just append the stuff, right? So now I just say append the oracle. So final, what was the append thing in here? Ah, I forgot the append. Okay, yeah. So we're now appending the uh, final test. So final test append. What's the operation we're appending? We're appending the oracle, which is how did I call the how did I call the oracle? Did I call it anyhow? Did I just just O? Okay. Um, so append the oracle O in qubits one, zero, one, two, three, and append then the uh, a a inst to qubits same n four right because we need that extra ancillary qubit in here mm. and I think we just repeat that right so it's one two three times so we repeat it three times. Repeat the whole thing three times. Good. And now I do final test draw output equals MPL. Yeah, and I got it here. Be beautiful. Now I gotta measure though. So I gotta add the measurements in here. How did that look like? How can I how can I measure it? Kiss key. Kiskit measure. Um, I think I need to specify the uh, measure example. Just want a quick code example. 
measure, 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 circuit measure. Come on, escape measure example. Mm. Here, measure. <clears throat> measure 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 okay so I can just do that specify it this way okay circuit measure so that means I can just do final test measure and I can just do one two three so that should also work and then I again draw you can draw the whole thing <laughs> okay. Um, yep. Perfect. We're just measuring these qubits. We're not going to measure. We're not going to measure the, the last one. Let's see. Uh, good. 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 Now I just got to run it, I guess, and do the plotting thing, right? So I would just need to do uh, backhand equals. I get get backhand um, chasm simulator because we want to just do the plot of the like histogram of the results working and then uh, I just it's just a hassle to I I I I'm not used to remember all I'm like don't remember all these kind of things plot histogram counts so I'm gonna get the counts. Um, for these uh, something I gotta create a job I guess Kiss keep textbook let's go back to the textbook that was it's helpful I think here because uh, it's a cute um, mm, 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 mm. so I get the backhand job execute here here exactly so job execute QC. Uh, sorry. So job equals execute, and then I give it the backend. Was it or the circuit first? First the circuit, then the backend. Uh, final test, then the backend, <clears throat> and then I give it the shots. <clears throat> we'll also do um, eight eight thousand uh, hundred ninety two. Now I got the job running, and now I just get the counts. Just get the counts, and I guess I can plot the histogram afterwards, right? And now I can say plot histogram hist. Oh, yes. Okay, something is not. Why I get five qubits if I just measure four? This I don't understand. Uh, okay. What have I done here wrong? I want to measure four qubits. I just measure four. Zero. Okay, maybe if I go all the way here and I just so what if I da, 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 when I define the quantum circuit the final quantum circuit uh, I'm gonna define it as having just four maybe that's gonna that's gonna maybe that's the reason um, and so I go through all this stuff. Now it just has four. And I get this again, get this again, get this again, and plot it again. Hmm. Okay, but then something's here not, not working right, right? Because I basically have, uh, I should be getting these input in here. So maybe the problem lies into in inside here and in using these R TOF gates. What if I um, what if I used CCX gates? Let's give it a try. So let's let's just 
use and this means we're not going to we're now going to use cc8 gates instead of that so we're going to do uh a ccx and we're going to do uh zero one four X for two, four, two, three. How does this look like? Okay, so that looks like that now. Um, and that's exactly how it looks like in my in my in, in Quirk. Okay, so that's the that's this one here. Let's see if uh, can I just run the whole thing? Run file. So I click run. Does it go through all of them? Rerun the whole notebook. With that look. See if I join us try the current calendar rigs to get the whole notebook. Okay, no, no, no. So what's my battery? Okay, it's fine. So this is done, 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 this is done. And let's see what we get. Yeah, okay, so now it works. <clears throat> okay, interesting. Um, so so the uncomputing might must be or might be needed. That's what that's what this is telling me. But why does uncomputing why is uncomputing there needed if Is it because of the, or maybe not in computing, but maybe I'm using I'm using this RTOF implementation. Um, what if I use the other RTOF, the RTOF M? Because this RTOF here needs uh, needs some phase correction at the end, I think. RTOF M. Oh, that does not require okay, user, which is single qubit rotation errors exactly. So I think I, I would assume the IX version is 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 the one that's preferred. And again, the swap trick in here is just because of the hardware. So I was not I I, I really was not there yet that this was needed. But maybe I need. But maybe I wouldn't I, I would need to add, the face correction. Because here, this is what confused me. So here, so this is confusing me. So here's a here's stuff like gates. Stuff like gates, other than the one enclosed in the dash box, can be replaced with a relative phase gate. But why is it just because of the? It's just because of the hardware. It's just because of the mapping. I think so. I think that's what that's the reason. If I'm just running on a simulator, I shouldn't care about this. So. Okay, so now I'll try. Then let's try next thing, which is let's try with uncompute. Um, so let's try to uncompute that. So we know this works. Um, and now we want to try these. Now we're gonna do uncompute, and so we're gonna have this gate, and this gate. Correct. That's how you would do it. Yeah. So down. What? That is also not working. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. And now I've got basically this part in here. Circuit seven. Why is it called? Why they are they all called circuit seven? Oh, because it's all an art of gate. It's just different input mappings.
it, it should work without uncomputing. I mean, it works with CCX exactly using the same mapping. So why shouldn't it work? Maybe it's the RTOF implementation then. So what if I create another RTOF that is going to be the RTOF M, okay? So uh, can I insert a cell in between below? Yeah, so I'm gonna create another RTOF, which is, I'm gonna call RTOF M or RTOF M. And that's a bit of a different one. So this is basically, um, it's basically this one here that has a a y rotation r y pi divided by four okay so it has a uh, where am i so it's uh r y and pi divided by four then it has a uh Control not. No, an R Y to what qubit? Okay, to qubit two, and it has uh, a control X between. Uh, one and two, right? Oh, come on. Yes. Exactly. Then another rotation. So then a ry np np pi divided by four and keep it two. Then a control x between zero and two. And then we have the whole thing again, but uh, a uh, so we've got a minus one times times these, right? So we've got a it's the negative negative the opposite rotation. It's not correct. So and now I want to. Draw. Let's see if I can draw this with output equals NPL. <clears throat> yeah, that seems about right. Okay. So, and now, what if I now use the art of M instead of the art of? I needed to get. I, I need to. I need to turn it into an instruction. So, art of M mm, gate art of m to instruction. So that's how you make that thing an actual gate. And now I will append that in here without uncomputing. Good, so let me just rerun all this stuff. Run, 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 run with the measurements. And now let's see what happens. Oh, it's the same thing. I'm doing something wrong somewhere. Okay, but it's not bad that it gives me a similar result with both RTOS implementations. But it's bad that it gives me the right result if I replace those with control control nodes. Hmm. I must be doing something. Wait a second, where is the, where is the art of M gate in here? Uh, Insert cell below. So, okay, so with the art of M gate doesn't work either. <laughs> and I seem to be connecting things correctly. Maybe. 
maybe this swap is needed, but why would the swap be needed in this case? Then I don't get it. So I, let's, I'll try to add the swap at the end. So, so this means after, so this would be a swap and, and, and the art of M case, I would need to add a swap here. So between qubits one and two. Okay, <clears throat> let's now try this out, see if that works. No, that also doesn't work either. That swap is not needed. Okay. Because mm. mm. it should be this one here. It's uh, this is going to be insanely difficult to actually debug, right? I mean, how am I going to know what is going on here? Like from a if I use the if I use Quirk, it seems to work out. So I've got these, I've got the Oracle, which just does this, this, you know, it just does these rotations. Theta, oh, wait a second. Is the theta correct? Yeah, it's pi divided by four. And that's why I'm using the Oracle. Hmm. Is there a way that I visualize the phases in here, what these rotations are going on in the right direction. So I, 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 I want to take a look at, like, um, uh, is this, because th this seems to be like, if that's not well done, then the rest is not going to work. And then the rest is just, uh, it seems trivial to me in terms of you've got the RTOF gates, you've got the amplitude amplification here. Um, With the ancilla qubit, ancilla qubit, and then you've got all the measurement stuff. I mean, so I need to dig into these visualizations then, see if I can get the phases of the key, see if I can get the state vector somehow with the phases. Okay, key skip visualizations. Let's take a look. So. I probably need. I probably need to first of all. Um, okay, so I could reuse that state vector simulator exactly. Getting the job and then here I'm, I'm plotting this whatever thing here. That's not. That's not what I what I want to see. That's also not what I want to see. But I can compare. I could compare this to Quirk eventually and and say that's uh, that seems to be about right. It seems like that's where all the block spheres are. <clears throat> the art toss. The thing is, if I okay, so the thing is, no, no, that, that doesn't make sense. I don't need to get go into the visualizations because if I change that with CCX gates, it works. So there has to be something wrong with my art of implementation. There's got to be something wrong with my RTOF implementation. Now, if I compare the two options I got here, they should be fine. TT dagger, TT dagger, H, and this is rotations on the Y. Ah, uh, wait a second again. It's not, a, maybe it's not an RY, but it's a uh, U2, right? what I should be using here. <clears throat> it's not IY, but an, uh, so key skit, U2. Is it the U2 gate? Hmm. 
Shanghai and Lambda. So you two how how should I so the Y the U1 is rotating is like a parameterized Z. So should I use a U2? Probably. The sign of it is inverted. This gate uses four U3 gates. In addition to the normal Toffoli operation, the sign of 101 is inverted. This gate uses four U3 gates. Should I replace? So I should probably replace this with U2 gates. U2 gates. Um, with a zero in here. Like, does this work this way? I don't know. It's like I would, don't want to rotate. Okay, so this is going to be this type of rotation, but I'm not sure if this is going to. So I'll just go all the way and then see what happens. It's not working. Uh, So Kiski, my rotations using U2 quantum gates, quantum gates, quantum gates, poly operators, da 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 da. Is there a U2 in here somewhere? Yeah, U2. Okay, so from this gate, how much gate is done by U2 zero pi? Mm. So that is a rotation. It's a pi rotation on. Uh, no, that's weird. CCX. It's difficult to find the U2 gain matrix. Uh, This doesn't seem to work. It's difficult to find here uh, anything that's helpful, but it's just maybe my lack of the proper language in here. U2 rotations. We want a mm, 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 mm. we want a rotation on the y-axis. Should I just sign in here and take a look at the computation in here? Mm, 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 mm. It's uh, it's all in all tricky. Quick test. What I was doing in here. Glossary, gate glossary, the U2 gate. Oh, so there's zero pi. Uh, okay. Chasm reference. Isn't that, isn't that like a pi divided to pi divided by two kind of thing? here, what you're doing. Zero pi divided by uh, four, that should be it, really. I think that should be the correct thing. It, it, nevertheless, I mean, 
if I replace that with CCX, it works. If if I use the art of uh, the art of even just the art of gate doesn't work. So <clears throat> so this is what I don't get. Um, am I just missing the? Is it that I'm missing the? the face correction because in the paper so should i go ahead and implement that and really do it this way let's see what if i use just the r tof and then i do a control control not with the swap in here maybe that's the whole point so maybe that works so if i here i use a uh so here, for these, I use the CCX. No, 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 the other way around. I command that, and I use the CCX here. And also with this, I, mean, I think the swap is not needed in this case. It shouldn't be needed. Let's see what that. Let's see if that if that works the way I would expect it to work. Yes and no, kind of. I'm a bit confused. It's not the. It's not. What if I? What if I? Add another. So what if I exactly uh, start here and then say. That's already not working as expected. If I add another iteration, um, I'm hesitant to think this is working. <laughs> and this, so yeah, so by replacing these here, if I do a swap and, they, and then I uncompute, so if I now do a swap. Uh, two, three, and then I apply and this one, and I apply again this one, so I kind of uncompute. That's also not working as expected. <laughs> That's not working as expected either. Um, and if I just go back to CCX and I really uncompute, I mean, that's what we uh, also said. So if I now uncompute, right? So. so No, that, it's not giving me the, the probabilities that I want, that I expect. It's definitely not. So I'm doing something wrong somewhere, and I don't know what, and that makes it complicated to debug. What I know is that if I don't use the RTOF gates, sorry, what I know is that if instead of these, I use the CCX gates, then it works. So that should work. What the? I think I'm, oh, sorry, there's an error in here. Uh, why target? Oh, sorry. It's the wrong way of putting it. Exactly. Now that should work. It should work. Well, roughly 21%. That matches <clears throat> what I'm getting here as well. So it's um, here, roughly. Sorry, here, 22%. That seems to work. Now,
even the 1100 solution, for example, or 1011 are also slightly, if I take a look in here, they're also, yeah, it, it really looks like that. So the problem I'm having here is, um, it seems like I'm missing something with the RTOF gates in here. And again, I'm not uncomputing, so I don't really know why this would be required. Uh, the swap here will be needed only on the hardware when we do this on the actual tricky hardware thingy. But other than that, it's just it's awkward. It's weird. So here you've got Chasm Simulator, right? It's still also not the same. Okay, but subdivided. The subdivided phase angle is 0 0.392 to be optimal, 0 0.392. What if I replace that 0 0.392? Here, uh, I'll say theta equals 0 0.392 times pi times mp pi. So I'll just run the whole thing again. That doesn't seem optimal to me. That doesn't seem optimal to me either. With this theta, 1.23. So, oh, sorry, that's not the one that I should use because I should use these ones here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'm I, sorry, I was looking at the wrong things. What's the optimal 0 0.25 by? 0.25 pi. So I should run all these. <clears throat> then I should get now, I should really get that. Yeah, that's neat. That's perfect. That works. But if I replace that with the, if I replace this with the art of gates, then it doesn't work. That's what bothers me a bit. That I can understand what am I doing here so to say. Doesn't just doesn't make any sense. So I don't know. Next, what I could do is I could take a look at what the code that they've used looks like. So I see where I'm where I'm missing. And I hope that there is some sort of reference to a uh, GitHub repo or something where I can take a look at the code just to understand how they've built it. Oh, wait a second, look, 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 look. They have, okay, they have done the face correction. That's the why. So you gotta, you gotta correct the face in there. Hmm. So you actually gotta correct the face. So I think I I think you could try that. So what about correcting the face, but without the swap in here? Okay, so without the swap. Uh, I don't need that swap. Just, I don't need it for the simulator, but it seems like that's what they've done it. Okay, that's what, they, what, they, what they've done. Okay, wait a second. Here there is, what is going on here? Diffusion. Here there's some more face correct. So they've corrected the face. The circuit max of K14, each UK gate is determined by the type of adopted R TOF gate. Okay, I'm 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 gonna but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, though I really would like to try that, but I'm running out of time today. Again, so I should add the face correction somehow, which is U0, U1, U2, U3. So that seems to be this here. What, wait a second. They've done a weird thing in here. What? 
Why are those connected to the ancillary keyread? Oh yeah, okay, because the first one is kind of the ancillary keyread. Okay, yeah, yeah. So but th there is so there is a you need that phase correction. But here they keep they have the swap in here at the end. Not quite liking it. And then they actually do a uh, compute. This seems like they compute. I don't know. I gotta take a look at this more carefully. I feel I'm I feel I'm rushing it. But uh, it's really it's really there. It really boils down to that. So I got it running <clears throat> without the RTOFs. <clears throat> but uh, it seems like the, the trick here is you, you've got to, so you got to have, you got to have that face corrected. You got to correct that face, which is what's happening here, right? So at the end, you got to correct. So the last one has got to be this one. I would explain if I that if I use a uh, if I use a CCX at the end instead of this one, right? Uh, almost works. Or, I mean, it's really giving me what I yeah, yeah, nine ish. No, 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 no. Not perfect. It's um uh, this whole thing is confusing. <clears throat> okay, we'll leave it here for now. Actually, um, I need to just reflect. It's, it's. I think all the bits and pieces are here put in together, and it perfectly works with uh, with ideal CCX gates. But it doesn't seem to work with the rod F, the rod F gates the way that I've implemented them. But I might. It's just by me. Might be me where I'm missing basically the the end computing part, uh, the phase correction, and the end computing part. I'll try that in the next video. Cool. Um, those are going to be a bit longer videos because it definitely takes a while to get that thing. It's difficult to debug. It's difficult to play with. But um, both the both the Quirk seems to work at a simulation level, and Qiskit seems to work at a simulation level. Next challenge would be to get it into into actual hardware. Um, yeah, perfect.